Whoa. Are you guys ready for some fucking antics? Yes, please. It's Crystal, Crystal Dynamics. It's a little quirky. They made, uh, they made Tomb Raider, Whoa. I think. The new one. No way. So this is Whiplash. My mom. I remember my mom walked into my, my bedroom <laughs> when I was a little uh, teenager. I was no. I was like what, sixteen. My mom walks in my bedroom. Chris, I just read in the newspaper there's a new game called Whiplash, and you should definitely play it. And I was just like, why? And I looked into it. And I was like, why the fuck did she come into my room to tell me this? <laughs> she probably read about it and thought of you. She probably just read in a shitty Irish newspaper that Wait. got paid for the review. Like Whiplash is the game of the year. Some evil. Oh, Corporate do we not have a memory card? His wish when your mom <laughs> talked about that to you. Do we not have a memory card? Why don't you fucking assign a fucking memory card, you dimwit? So wait, your mom wanted you to get this game? <laughs> yeah, like, and she... Is it pretty or Tomach? It might be Tomach. Do Tomach. I don't know, my mom, uh... She didn't like me playing games. But she wanted you to play this one? Maybe she thought this one was wholesome. Did but she, you know, like, play it herself, maybe? I doubt that. <laughs> I really want to see a rabbit. <laughs> in a cartoon video. Dude, I, don't know, I, I was... I don't know anything about this game. I was genuinely excited for this game as a kid. This was a PS2 game? I saw it in, like, a fucking Game Informer magazine, and it was like... It was like a, a weasel chained to a rabbit, and he yeah. hits people with the rabbit. <laughs> and I was like, that's hilarious. This game is gonna be so fucking funny. Is this wait, PS1 wait, or PS2? See, we gotta hear the story. Yeah. Every day routine just sap your soul. Don't you wish life had more zest, more verve? I want to sell this guy. Sounds like somebody Casey Case of pressure. Well, Casey Case. Your awkward existence. The Genron Corporation. Genron Whoa. is dedicated to bringing you the most exciting products this side of your smell. <laughs> smell. I'm smelling. Whoa, yes. my gosh. This is scary. Isn't that fantastic? And what about this? Damn. Doesn't that make you smile a big one? But how it sure in the does. Of science yeah. do we do it? Lean in close. The secret is animals. Yes, animals. You often see oh. them wandering the streets. Fuck yeah. Penniless. If you if you show that to a uh, chip, you think he'd freak out? Think he'd <laughs> That's me. We here at Genron overlook their lack of previous job experience and put them to work in our factory, testing the latest in our amazing line of products. And if that doesn't work. That's movie magic, Chris. That's how they made Planet of the Apes. That's how they filmed, uh, the Hindenburg. Hindenburg? <laughs> yeah, they faked it. They had a monkey crash the pilot, the pilot the fucking blimp into the ground. They had a big rotating canvas making it look like it was falling. That's nuts. That's Daxter. Oh my god, get away from that! Chris, for a hundred dollars, would you put a chimp in a big, like, rotating metal cage that, like, sl like every, like, <clears throat> ten seconds stabbed it from some side that it didn't know was gonna happen? <laughs> yeah. You know what I, mean? I didn't expect this fucking sick rabbit to talk. <laughs> I want to put a chimp in, in that cage from the Avengers and push the button where <laughs> it falls to Earth, spinning around. <laughs> like Thor. Oh, so that's how you figure it out. Dude, it's the Matrix. So cool. I hope you listen to that for the whole yeah, year. Yeah, I hope it makes that sound a lot. <laughs> Jesus. Have fun, Lyle. Yeah, I am. Checkpoint. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's it? That's the game. Game of, over. What kind of game is this? <laughs> a fun one. It's like a new genre. It's called like a, a weasel slapping genre. Who's the genre? Who's the genre? Who's the genre? I've never even heard of this game. Well, I don't have. think it uh, got very popular. Namely on account of it wasn't very good. But, if it was, it would have been beloved. Wait, so this is Morpheus? <laughs> it sounds like somebody did a impression of James Earl Jones. I'm gonna get ya! Get ya, get ya, get ya! <laughs> oh, oh my god. It's a sad little critter. Hello? What do you want? I am a fat evil business guy! <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is what this is. He's a fat evil... You know the fat evil corporate man. Hazmat hunters pronto! Or death to you, your wife! <laughs> that is death fucked up. to you, your wife? That is fucked up. We're just banging on the glass. I like him. His son's son! <laughs> his son's daughter! Get out of there, little guy. It was animated pretty good. Yeah, for PS2, that was actually surprisingly <laughs> stylized. Oh my god! It's the voice from all the movie trailers! It's like Family Guy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sounds like Foley the Squirrel. It kind of does, yeah. 
He just needs to be, like, yelling about society. You fucking cock-counting assholes really need to stop. Yeah. No, not really. Cut loose. In a world where a voice from the heavens tells you to cut loose. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. This rabbit has no expression. Yeah, well, at least you get to smack him into the wall and shit. Yeah. You can do it, Lyle. I, I believe fully you right. can beat this game in one hour. I, I sure hope so. So, this is the game. Why you did you that? want to, You were begging to play this well, for months. You were months. begging your hands and knees with blush. You put blush makeup on your face. You can't be begging your hands and your knees. <laughs> Look at it. Isn't it fun? Isn't it good? Why were you obsessed with this? Because your mom was obsessed with this and I just wanted to impress her, okay? Back there, I again. said it. Huh? <laughs> More of this, huh? <laughs> you know, Lul, you got a mom too. <laughs> I, well, I don't want my mom. I want your. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <Stop running away. laughs> uh, I don't want to fuck my mom. I didn't I say nothing me, about fucking about her. <laughs> I have to talk about it. You're putting words in my mouth now, Chris. Do you need a new dad? No. I don't want you as my dad. <laughs> I don't want to be your dad. Good. I'm too old for this crap. I'm sick of my friends getting, trying to become my dad. I'm getting too old for my friend to be my dad. <laughs> Oh, you've become super rabbit. Do oh, you yeah, guys you think can... you relate more closely to the character of the rabbit or the or the dog? I feel like I'm like pulling people along all the time, you know? So you feel like you're that I feel weasel. like without me, people would just be left in the dirt. So I'm always like hoisting them up and pulling them along, you know? Right, so you're saying you're like the weasel thing. No, I feel more abused like the rabbit. Oh, like the, oh, you're the rabbit, okay. But even though I'm pulling people along constantly... You're doing the pulling like the weasel is. But I'm still getting abused like the rabbit. So you're, kind of like so you're both. both, is what you're... No, I'm you, fucking... No. You want both to be you. Yes! <laughs> I'm both of them. Release Robo Mouse. Well, this is the shittiest game I've I ever know, seen. it's so- it's- it's so fucking bad. When I was a kid, I used to beat, like, every game I ever touched. Yeah. I didn't beat this one. Chris, for $600,000, yeah. you have- a man comes up to you and offers $600,000, but you have to release a Robo Mouse, which when once activated... <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll infinitely just keep going so we'll until it finds, finds somebody and it gnaws, like, into the burrows into them. Okay. And it, kill, it eats them. Okay. It digs into them. Yeah. Does that make sense? So, you're telling me the, the businessman, the fat stacks businessman with a, with yeah. a golden cane walks up. Big golden And team. he offers to give me a mouse that will bury, burrow into people? No. No, he offers you $600,000 if you- But That's if- awesome. if you get the money, that means he has to set this mouse free. Oh, and he a has, random person gets a picked A random up. person gets burrowed to death by this little- For $600,000? No, I wouldn't do that. What about for 900000 I, I don't think I'd do that for literally infinite money because I- I just feel too guilty. Yeah, plus you'd assume that the next person who gets the offer, the mouse would burrow into you. Yeah, exactly. Like that fucking button movie. Remember the button movie? What's the button movie? It's like the guy shows up, he's like, I have this button, and if you press the button, a button happens to a random person. Are you making and... this up? No, it's real! I do think it really, yeah. Yeah, it's like... it's, it, and, and, if you push this button, you'll get money, but somebody somebody random around the world will die. Yeah, yeah. No, I couldn't do that. And and then blatantly the twist is I don't even know for a fact that that's the twist. That's just what I assume it was. Is that if you press the button, the next person that gets it is you, you know? Mm. Like if someone else pushes the button. I'd feel a little awkward about doing that. Yeah, well then don't push the button or do the mouse thing. La, would you do that if uh, if one random person died, but you also uh, you you killed three objectively evil people? So, w would the random person be guaranteed to be no. not an evil no, person, they're, they're, no, or they're, is they're, that they're a total random pick? Random, so they could be a bad person, they and they're getting good. burrowed into by Robo Mouse, and yeah. they're be yeah, you can't forget that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, not a, it's not a regular I, death. I, I think I think if it was a regular death, no. If it's a Robo Mouse death, I might do it. What the fuck? But, you all, but that Robo Mouse also might kill somebody that's got a good heart and a good soul. Yeah, but then they get to die from a Robo Mouse, which is pretty cool. You're letting the chimps out, dude. This is gonna end like that fucking phone call. <laughs> what? So like the woman gets her face. Yeah. Enough? Where the, her friend's like, my friend, my friend is being eaten by a chip. That would be Chris on the other line. Well, if you got your face. That is the your... most horrifying phone call I've ever heard. Because her adrenaline's rushing. She's also scared of the animals. You can hear the the, the stock chimpanzee fucking sound yeah, effects yeah. in it. Well, that just goes to show these are not things to be. 
Now kept her as pets. Well, but, but if you raise them from a young age Doesn't and you matter. put them in a tuxedo, then they're wild, they're, killing they're psychopaths. They're little people if you really think. About it. Is, isn't what happens is they hit like fourteen or something and, and they, they start go getting they go through puberty horny, yeah. and they start going nuts? Yeah, yeah. and like, you can't blame the that poor fucking the guys. Too, to yeah, that is like the thing is like. They they just have to have like one face ripping mood and then you know then it just spoils them for like that chimp is forever gonna be known as the chimp that ripped a lady's I think face he's dead. off. Oh Why? yeah, he got shot apart. <laughs> yeah, he got shot by like like by the times. cops. By the cops. And the pictures of it, he was a fat ass. Like like the people who had him as a pet, they were overfeeding him. The cop, they, they they do say it was like ruled suicide by cop though. The monk, the chimp. <laughs> I don't think they did that. They said, don't reach, don't reach, don't reach. This game is mean-spirited, Lyle. <laughs> like, what is the point? What is the point of anything in life? I think you just gotta roll with it, man. I just feel bad for the poor little guy. <laughs> no! Fully deserved. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. The balds liked They're it. They're monsters. <laughs> They're all fucking monsters. This game is insidious. And they just stick. I guess so, yeah. Are they just gonna keep playing this? Like, why? <laughs> what the fuck is the point of this? That's what? you right now, Chris, in the back. Those guys look like Devin Townsend. We must put an end to this experiment. I can't destroy believe what the I'm hamster saying. cannons. I gotta destroy them. My favorite game is Hamster Cannon Eliminator. Did they hit the back? Yeah, probably. Zach. Yes. Robo Mouse has been unleashed onto society. Okay. But he That's... has been in hibernation for 40 years. Which means... Which means he's reformed from meeting the person. <laughs> because... of the new computer virus that the, the computer Chinese vi created. The Chinese put a virus in the Robo Mouse? Specifically, yeah. On purpose? Well, the, the Chinese created the Robo Virus Mouse... I mean, Robo, Robo Mouse Virus. And they, they uploaded it to the internet. In hopes that one day, when RoboMouse woke up, he would be, infected. be infected by it. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> they're free. Yeah. The RoboVirus, uh, RoboMouse virus, uh, makes him defect, not even to China but to Russia. What would you do? Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Say it one more time. <laughs> the Robo, the, it was a Chinese made virus that they made this for the internet, just in case the RoboMouse ever woke up. Yeah. <laughs> But the virus made it so that it was Russian and not Chinese? Yeah, by accident. That went to Russia? Yeah, it defects to Russia. <laughs> to eat Russian people? <laughs> no, to, it like, joins them. Does it, does it have intel it, from it, the Chinese it, that it can leak to Russia? But the purpose of the RoboMouse was to burrow into people. Does it not do that anymore? No, now it, it gives, like, intel gives to intel? Russia. What would I do? <laughs> yeah. what, what, what are my options? What could I, what could I do? You, you learn of this. Do you report it to the U.S. government? Yeah. Who tells me? Uh, Robo Mouse's evil twin. So he'd just be... Well, he he got hacked and he defected <laughs> to America. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, Robo Mouse! <laughs> wait, the, Robo Mouse is a thing? Yeah. L2 plus triangle. Release Robo Mouse. That's it. That's that a Robo Mouse? Have you this seen... is what you've been creating, these hypothetical scenarios around? Yes. It burrows into people. Okay, I don't know what it does, but I I picked it back up. Zach, have you seen that torture method where you put a bucket on someone with a rat inside the bucket, and then you hold a flame underneath the bucket, yeah. so the rat burrows into the people? Yeah, there's the other one where you where you put a bunch of rats in someone's belly and then cover it up, and then you don't get the rats. Cover it up with what? With like, like a, a big bucket. bucket. Yeah, oh, big, big okay. like Game thing. of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then if 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 the, if the, with the when the mice get their uh, they want to eat, they eat in your belly. The way you said that, I thought you meant like you put rice in their belly, as in you cut open their belly, put mice in it, then you cover it no, up. No, but the with mice like... do do that eventually. They dig into your belly. But then they're just trapped in your like stomach acid. Oh, they eat through it. Yeah, they eat their way out. They eat their way out. That's it, the point. Like what? How, like which way do they eat out of? It, it eats all. Yeah, the dealer's choice, really. Yeah. I hope they don't eat out through my, you know, your pussy. My pussy. <laughs> oh my god. All right. You suck, dude. You should try harder. Dude, you're not even a gamer. <laughs> like the the voices are so unsuited for what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. It, it 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 sounds like it's maybe at the end of the era where they they were just using whoever was in the office. True. Or or it's just weird because they pitched it up and they didn't like do anything else, so it it just kind of like 
takes a little bit of the personality out of it, you know what it's I mean? It's just that when you, you know, you're smashing the poor thing off of the counter and he's, he's going, just, hey, what's going on? Yeah, hey, what's going on? This is a funny <laughs> joke. <laughs> yeah, he's doing like clips. <laughs> it's like my devil trigger, dude. I can't believe this is the game that I thought about for so long. You, wait, you thought about it too? Yeah, my, ever since my mom said that shit, I was like, Maybe I should have gotten it. Wait, you, were you, you filled you with regret? It? No, but then it was in GameStop all the time, and I was I was there looking at it, and I'm like, that still looks kind of lame, and I never brought it home. But Do I always thought about it. you think you would have liked it if you would have played it? No, this looks like shit. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just because of her saying that. It's always had this little connection for me now. Jesus, why? He's in the machine. He's getting ground up. Did I fix it? Did I do it? So do, do these animals like each other? I can't tell. No, I don't think so. It's fucked up. I think they they make that a point where the the, the rabbit's kind of an asshole to you. Mm. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing here? Use bugs. Is his name Bugs? It's uh, Spanx. No, you're Spanx. I don't know. Oh, it says use Bunny. Redmond. Is is this character's name? What are you doing here? I I don't That's know. That's killing you. <laughs> is it hurting me? Yes. Oh. I'm supposed to, yeah, I'm supposed to, like, keep tugging. The poor little that, fellow. That was not intuitive at all. Yes! Oh, I popped him. Pop Jared Fogle. <laughs> Before those sandwiches. That that was one of the first times in my life where I was like, is this real? Is this oh, reality? When, when, when he got caught for that? Yeah, when, when I heard his phone call. That's the most evil phone call I've ever it's, heard in my life. It's fucking crazy. It's like he's playing like a super villain. Yeah. It's like what the? Who do you? Who? Where do you get off? <laughs> who are you talking about? Jared Fogle, the subway. Oh pedo, yeah, yeah. Where his phone call? He was literally just talking nonchalantly over the phone. About like, the most evil thing you could possibly yeah, imagine. He's, he's trying to convince the woman to do it. It's like, oh yeah, it's really easy. You just kind of you go in. Yeah. He says he says shit like, well yeah, when they're younger it's easier. Yeah. You are, you are, you are he, he was like, you are, how about we have like a block party and you can invite all your kids' friends. And he was also the first time I realized <laughs> always look like. Yeah, for the most they part, they do kind of have a look. Yeah. Every time they never look like George Clooney. Every time there's a sex offender, you look at him, you're like, yep, okay, makes sense. <laughs> no, there there was definitely there was like a guy who was like a YouTuber, and and he he had like. He had like blue hair and a pink beard. Like he oh, dyed yeah, his yeah, beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like it was, like, it was like streamer. You didn't even have to tell me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, he looked foul. Yeah. I think you could build an AI that could tell you. Just looks at enough faces. Probably, you're, yeah. You're in every through the database. Lyle. Yes. This game sucks much. No, yes! no, it's epic. Look. Look at him go. That was Cave Johnson from the hit Portal 2. And now he's dead. This oh. predated Portal 2, so if anything, Portal 2 ripped this off. True. Has Zach ever played Portal? No. Zach, you'd like Portal, the Wait, first one. really? What You've never played it? No, it's actually really cool. No, but what if I would No, but you would, because it's a thinking- it's a thinking man's game, what Zach. What if I don't like to think? Puts on your thinking hat- hat? This is a thinking <laughs> man's game. That might be actually interesting if you haven't played you know, it before. Zach, you We've should play played it. it before, so it's we so can't. It's so fucking good. Yeah, you can't really replay it, or you can, but you'll know all the answers. Is it to as puzzles good as this game? It's, it's way better. Is, we, yeah, we it's actually, just play it's actually like, genuinely good. You would good. actually just have fun. Yeah, you'd you'd like it, I think. It's a puzzle game. I play it. I play Portal. I don't really like Portal Two that much. I love Portal One though. The data's being saved, so we'll always be able to come back to this point. Yeah. Do you want me to make multiple uh, save points? In yeah. this game, so that like we can come back to our favorite moments. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, why don't we live this in a few months? We should uh, do this as tradition. We should play this every few years. Every few, every few. Yeah, weeks. yeah, like 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 a like a Christmas uh like a Christmas special. It should be like that shit movie without a paddle, where it's like, dude, no matter what, yeah. we'll always come back and do this one thing, dude. Did they? Is that how without a paddle ended? It's how it starts. We'll always get lost in with a kayak. <laughs> yeah, that is how the movie starts. They're like. No, they're like, dude, we, we were supposed to always come back and go on a camping trip. Why did the, we- The big camping trip. The he camping was trying trip. to find the treasure, man. It's such a bad movie. I want to watch that really badly now. Let's review, let's review without a paddle. Uh, my review is the yeah. fucking shaggy actor never stops fucking smiling. Matthew Lillard, yeah, he never stops grinning ear to ear. But at least Seth Green gets by a bear. True, he gets emasculated. <laughs> Debersculated. <laughs> You did get demasculated because you got despecies, despeciesized. Yeah, yeah well, despeciesized. Oh, you fell way off. I sure did. But my life went up. So, don't you see? 
I, I'm also level two now. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been leveling up. This game doesn't feel like it needs leveling up. <laughs> well, that's where you're wrong. Dude, Look. Redmond is level two. Yeah, th Spanx is level two as Dude, well. Wait, Redmond's max power is 11? <laughs> Yeah, that's a How little fun fact so about him. so powerful? Well, that's what, uh, practice. Uh, there we go. That's my favorite game mechanic. Using another creature as means to get further. Yes. It's also your favorite real-life mechanic, you fucking psycho. <laughs> I do do that quite a lot. You do take a hamster or like a cat or some pussycat or something like that, you tie a chain to it? <laughs> well, no, I, I was talking about how I like use and abuse people. Fuck. No, but that little gerbil they use is a uh, flashlight. They don't use it as a fleshlight. They use it as a as a fuck toy. Oh, that's right. Because a fleshlight is a fleshlight. Yeah, a fleshlight has feelings, and I care about those. <laughs> I don't think. Would you buy a fleshlight if it definitely like they put a chip inside of it so it had feelings? You could think. <laughs> what, does it like what I'm doing to it? Uh, you don't know. If, if it was thinking at that point, <laughs> I start, I'd start treating it like a human. Just be like, hey, you want to go see? <laughs> Would you feed it? Would you feed it like chili and stuff? Yeah, you could feed it some chili. <laughs> feed it chili. <laughs> yeah. Get some chili with cheese on top. What does it talk like? <laughs> I'd be like, uh, you know what? It's got vocal cords too. It doesn't have eyes though. <gasps> oh my fucking god. Feed me more chili. I want more wedges chili. Oh, I just got you chili earlier. I'll have to I'll have to run back out. I, I'm running out of money. I, I really can't keep affording chili. This is ridiculous. This is I crazy. didn't expect you to eat so much. This is crazy. I don't know what Wilson, I'm doing. you're sleeping on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> it has little fucking T-Rex arms. It then it, it reaches like, out it like for very, chili. <laughs> and only chili. No, you'd have to feed it with a spoon. You would. Oh, a big a, wooden spoon. Yeah. Okay. A giant wooden spoon. I don't know why wooden spoons kind of creep me out. <laughs> Did you get hit with one, or...? No! It's just that, like, the idea of a big wooden spoon is just weird to me. We're eating something with a big wooden spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the movie Whiplash? Now, there's a real banger. Yeah, that one's really good. Have you seen that, Zach? That's the one about the drumming guy yeah. or whatever? No, yeah, I haven't yeah. seen it. Wait, did they really code it so you have to jump up each step there? Maybe, or I might have just done that, I don't know. Zach, watch no, Whiplash, yeah, it's I good. It. I need to see it. Zach, it's a good one. No, you... I need to. No, I know. I need to see it. Zach, it's it, it. You can probably heavily relate to the core message, dude. No, I need to see it. Yeah, yeah. So watch it. Is what I'm saying, dude. No, I'm gonna see it though. <laughs> uh, whenever Lyle spoils a movie, I get so fucking angry. When have I done that? When you spit, when you spoiled the Mandalorian, you guys had a big fight. You did. You spoiled that. You spoiled Game of Thrones. You spoiled so Spider Man Two. You spoiled. What? You spoiled Mewtwo Strikes Back, you fucking asshole. That was the worst of all, by the <laughs> way. None of these are spoilable movies, unless you, like, go into fucking Spider-Man, you're like, Spider-Man's not gonna win at the you end of this. spoiled Halo 2, dude. Yep. I'm not forgetting. <laughs> I think that's how, uh, how Halo 2 ends. He goes, Sir, I'm not forgetting. That was pretty good. <laughs> you sound like Master Chief. You He's... know what? I, I know I'm recorded. This is the most recorded thing ever, but, uh, yeah. I only, like, this week did I realize that the narration voice is Master Chief. Like in, in multiplayer, like Slayer. I don't think it is. Is it not? No, it's not. Someone they, told they, me they, it they, was! Who? Donkey Kong! He lied to you. No, the, the guy who voices Master Chief is like some, uh... He's like some, like, radio host from, like, Georgia or something. Oh. Whoever does the Kilimanjaro. Like, that that voice is amazing. But they got rid of that for the new Halo. And he's like, Kil Kilimanjaro. Yeah, he sounds weird yeah. in the new one. Oh my god. Oh boy. Yeah, Lyle, would you fucking make this fucking <laughs> jump, dude? Well, I'm making the jump. It's, I'm it's it. the fucking. I, I actually don't know Lyle what I'm Lyle literally pulled out his ball sack as <laughs> absolutely hard as he could. Dude, you just got put in your place by a fat Irish Let's player. <laughs> How bad do you feel right now? Pretty bad, actually. <laughs> uh, Lyle, so, why didn't you start a Let's Play? Uh. Fucking Christ, Lyle! That's, right. that's why right there, that's yeah, why. Lyle, right. <laughs> well, what are you doing? You're doing it on purpose. Hold on. You ever Hold hear on. of a porpoise? A porpoise? You're doing it's this like on a dolphin, porpoise. right? Yeah. You, you hear about that? those things that are like dolphins, but they go in the fresh water? Uh, fish. Yeah. Yeah. Those suck, No! Right? Oh my god. Lyle! It just gets worse. Jesus! Now you have to make this jump. How often do you guys, like, uh, go, like, a year or two without hearing about a specific animal, and then you- you remember they exist, and you're like, what the fuck? Wait, what do you mean? Like, like- Oh, right. Like, 
Like, when you think about it, like, kangaroos are really fucking weird, or just, like, platypus, or just weird fucking animals that shouldn't exist, but they do. No, I see what you mean. Yeah, I think, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I forget about them, and then I remember them, like, They're what like the little aliens. It's like, I, I can't believe that's a real thing, that's so weird. Yeah, platypus is a weird one. Even that bird, that fucking big nasty bird with the horrible beak. With the evil eyes. Looks like a big dinosaur, yeah, that Oh, bird. yeah, I know the one you're talking about. The, the evil-eyed horn beak is what it's yeah. called. Oh, you know what? I'm... Huh? The idea here might just be that you're supposed to go on, like, different sides of this. Ugh. You're supposed to go, like, one on each side. That's fun. Yeah. Isn't it? No. Please don't fuck this up. Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. I wasn't worried about falling. Oh, don't falling run off the edge. Until... Don't run off the edge. Remember, you can run off the edge. Jesus. There we go. <laughs> it's the universal logo. Ba ba. I heard they actually sued this company for using it. It's a 2319! Dude, I wish security everywhere was like this. Oh, I didn't mean it. Erm, um, funny face um, time. That just happened? <laughs> Helium might be useful. Dude, this combat is actually pretty good. No, it rocks. <laughs> no, this does take a lot of skill to it. You can't just button say mash. urinate? It said lunatic. Oh, this said urinate. Crazy! Those are like your ranks. You really turned him into a ghost. Yeah, all these He's guys floating are there, yeah. actual corpses. Imagine being like this guy's wife, and like some like a guy comes to your house in a fucking suit with a hat, and he takes off the hat Man, and holds it to his chest. A weasel with a rabbit. <laughs> Beat your husband to death. So what was the point of that, Lyle? So the helium came out. Okay, now what? Now I kill this guy, and fucking leave his children <laughs> without a father. Oh, like an Austin Powers. Yeah. No, baby. Yeah, baby. That's disgusting. It's great. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, put him in there. Can't breathe. Someone's uh, coming to this right now. Yeah, those people. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Well, at least we're getting out. Can't really complain about this one. Okay, he likes this one, I guess. Okay. <laughs> there you go. This camera isn't very good. Yeah, no, it's inverted. This is scary. So it's always uh the it's always weird. Oh, oh my god. Well, good job, dude. Well done, dude. You're not gonna fucking <laughs> tell me that that didn't look like I was gonna make it. I could have told you not to make that mistake. Uh me and Zach have been talking. Yep. About and this, specifically this. Specifically, we're giving you your Lyle intervention. Fucker. Lyle, stop hurting him! He hit me first! I wanted to ignore him and fly! He hit me first. Oh Did my I god. There's there's a kid out there who watched them inflate, then went, Whoa. Wait, wait, wait a minute, I need to rub my body against <laughs> the, my, my couch. My couch for an hour. And fucking, oh, and then fuck. he, he purposefully killed him no. over and over. No. Oh my god. No! Okay, at very oh. least, I got up here. Okay, now what? I don't think I'm supposed to don't hit that target. Off. I think I'm supposed to just hit this. <laughs> Jesus. The target definitely throws off your focus, though. Yeah, because you're trying to hit it. I feel like as a kid, especially, I probably would have, like, gone for that over and over again. And yeah, just then, like, that you're supposed yeah. to get up there. Yeah. Because that is confusing. This is a fucking target. <laughs> you expect that you have to, like, slam your head into it. Good job, dude. Well, you just really did that. You have left your calling card. Now make yourself scarce while I... Attend. Is this guy my friend? Yeah, Is he's he trying helping? to help you. Company worth. Wait, you release animals? Yeah, I released those hamsters, remember? And the, the monkeys? Oh. So that's the whole point? I think so. Yeah, these guys are... Jesus, Whoa. that's scary. That terrifying. This is what an Oni Plays meeting looks like. <laughs> yeah. That's Chris right there. We need to make more money! <laughs> I kinda like this. <laughs> There's definitely something here. There's a seed of something. <laughs> it's iconic, I mean. I'm glad it zooms in on everyone's face. Ooh, the stocks are crashing a bit. Scar reveal. Whoa! Oh my god, you really fired them all? Meeting adjourned, gentlemen. Franklin Man, Homo sapien. Well, you didn't have to bring his sexuality yeah, yeah. into it. Say he's 64. It's a little bit of a low blow. No, 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 no. Well, yes. low blow. I mean, that's. Is he being haunted by the ghost of his eye? Yeah, what is that? Peanut butter. 
Set the animals free, Franklin. Set the animals free before it's too late. You're out of your mind. Do you know what would happen if I freed all the animals? We could make breakfast tacos. What? Nope, can't do it. Animal <laughs> research is too important to science. The wheels are already... That was a good cutaway. That was... That was <laughs> Really just smashed I, a monkey. I hope they lift it up and show what's, what's, what's left of that monkey. <laughs> and I know that you're in the building, and I know that when I find you, I'm gonna poke you in the eye. Mm hmm. That guy saw. Shut down main elevator access to all hubs. Those little crawdads aren't going anywhere. I like him. He's a good Pissed character. Off. He called us crawdads. No one called me a crawdad. Down, 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 up, 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 up. Sorry, it went down instead. Ooh, down, up, down, idiot. up. This is a big hit to lost credibility. Lyle Berg is the biggest idiot I've ever met. It's untrue. <laughs> if you look up idiot in the dictionary, you will see Lyle Berg in the dictionary. You will see him fucking a potato because he's an idiot. You will see cubs spilling out of the potato. <laughs> On the potato. <laughs> Chris, okay, I'll give you uh, lightly impressions. I'll, yeah, I'll give you the pressure you gotta say. Like, okay, okay. One Man second. of a million voices, go. SpongeBob. Yeah! Mr. Krabs. Arr! Do a Helga Pataki. Helga Pataki. Football head! <laughs> More. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, Bill Cosby. Uh, <laughs> Jared Fogel. <laughs> Hitler. Yeah, Stalin. Yeah, Charles Manson. <laughs> J.K. Rowling. Uh, uh, writing on a napkin. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Disney. James. Yeah, Kevin James. <laughs> he ran into a wall. Okay, go. Walt, Walt Disney. Walt Disney. <laughs> uh, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. Um, Warren Seth Spector. Roger. Who'd you say? Just do do that guy. Who's he? Standing. <laughs> Seth Rogen. <laughs> lol. <laughs> <laughs> he says lol. <laughs> Everyone always says lamau weed. I want it to be different. Oh, I see. More, more, more. Uh, Obama. Wait, 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 no, I'll do Seth Rogen. James Franco is not my friend anymore. Hey, what do you think about people breaking into your car? It is fucking amazing. Okay, um... <laughs> what do you lol. think about weed? I fucking hate weed. Damn really? It. Do you really hate weed? Uh, uh, I'm like, weed is like, uh, like, uh, uh. Well, I didn't know you felt so strong about weed. <laughs> <laughs> that's an interesting mechanic, actually. So you see that number at the bottom? Yeah. That's how much money the company has, and every time I smash something, it gets less. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. So I, I actually like that. Yeah. It incentivizes you to break and destroy. More pressure, Zach. Uh, Obama. Hey, what's up, my friend? Trump. I like being a businessman. Gold member. I love gold! <laughs> Trump member. I love money! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love gold! Okay, that's better. Okay, Zach, you do an impression of Homer Simpson. Marge Simpson. <laughs> uh, Stewie Simpson. <laughs> uh, Stewie Simpson. Uh, uh, I'm gonna hit you with a slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Uh, do, uh, Daffy Duck. <laughs> Wait, what is he saying? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what is this? this is, what does he say again? He says, uh... His, his beak spins around. Does that really not launch me? Ooh. Look, it's like an air... No, you, get to, you get to press this a button when you go in the air. shit, dude. Look. I do love the idea of you costing the money for everything you do. It's yeah, that's funny. that's actually really smart. I like that. Restore the power. Whoa, no. dude. Oh no. Escaped animals. Well, congratulations. This is the Samuel L. Jackson character in Django. This f owl? Yeah. This is robotic owl. He's yeah. like uh he's fighting for his uh captors, you know? Yeah, he's yeah, a I real think, piece of shit. I think they, I think they took from that movie. You're out of this hub. The problem is him. Oh no, he's helping you. That looks like uh, the guy from uh, he's just Jurassic Park. He's just condescendingly oh, Wayne, helping Wayne Knight? you. Yeah, yeah. Newman, it's Newman from Seinfeld. Uh, yep. uh, uh, uh. I never Gotta saw say Seinfeld. The magic word. Seinfeld. Seinfeld's one of the shows that gets a little bit funnier once you know the character. But is as funny as that? 
No, it's not as funny as that machine, that red robot eye. Do you see the Seinfeld where they go to the laugh factory? Oh yeah, that's where it ends with, uh, that was, uh, by the way, that whole thing was improvised. I know, apparently, do you know the story behind that? No. Where, uh, they were supposed to, like, th they had a bit in front of the live audience, and then they went out and they did it. But then nobody laughed, so then, uh, Kramer went up on the Laugh Factory, and then he did that bit, and everyone laughed, and they put killed. It, it, it killed. fucking killed. We're killed. <laughs> 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 we should go to the Laugh Factory and pay respects. We should all go to the Laugh Factory just as, as Michael Richards on that fateful night. Whoa, dude. And then Lyle will call in the fucking the late night show. Lyle will call Bob Dirty to Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I do every I Tuesday. Have we have Bob like a but inside your car. We have like a Mo Sislak Bart Simpson kind of relationship. Yeah, yeah, you and Jimmy Kimmel. Every every week I call in a bomb threat. And he goes, ha, 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 listen here, you little bastard. You fell if you... I find you, I'm gonna grab your tongue and pull it out through your asshole. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then it cuts and then it cuts to Jimmy Fallon stroking his perfect nine inch cock. <laughs> Camera zooms in very clearly the head of his penis. <laughs> it goes right up. It goes in this it whoa, goes into the penis head. There's a Universal Studios ride based on that. You go up his urethra and you, you whoa, right around Jimmy's urethra. <laughs> You're flying around like it's this. fucking amazing. It is amazing. Wow, look at that How little, dare you? little... How dare you? I should be in school right now, queefing in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? How dare you? Do you know that those girls that say they can queef on, the on command? <laughs> yeah, the Yeah. What? No. <laughs> the girls... What'd you the, say? They're those girls that say they can queef on command, right? You know, that's just farting. They just fart? No. They just fart, and they say it comes out of their pussy. How do you no. fart on command? No, I, well, they can do that. That's the thing you can practice. Really? Yeah, but you can't queef on command. That's a lie. They just fart. They wrong. I saw a girl who posted a TikTok, and she was angry, and she was like, to, to the girl who says that she can queef on command, that's my skill. That's mine. And it just cuts to her standing here going, <laughs> That's and, disgusting. And, and, can I blow I up a balloon with it? Because I don't fucking... I'm, I'm like the James Randi of, uh... Yeah, of, Lyle's of got queefing a big on command. I just yeah. love the like. She, I, I she's have a bounty. A fucking... If you can, if you can prove you can queef on command, I will give you eight dollars. She's having an internet war with another girl who stole her talent. She's pissed about it. She's like, look, I can do it better. And she doesn't like. She doesn't look like she's like an insane person. To her, that's like Breaking Bad. There's like another drug warlord <laughs> all yeah. coming on this. This is my territory. Yeah, she's Walter White versus Gus. <laughs> the other one's Gus. She's gonna play at the bottom and blow the other one's face off. Stay out of my territory. <laughs> that part's weird. Do you remember he goes into the, the he goes into the store and he sees someone else buying uh, the he, shit? He's just some yeah. idiot. And he's trying to help him out. And then he realizes, like, wait, wait a minute, I could be scary. Yeah, stay out of my territory. Stay out of my territory. That's what that queef girl said to the other one. <laughs> you stay out of my hairy posse. Stay out of my hair -tory. <laughs> Stay out of my hairy queefing pussy's territory. <laughs> That's <laughs> the son of a queef. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, did you know that Skylar White's actress got replaced in the final few seasons? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? They replaced her with the mom from Fresh Prince. <laughs> Aunt Vivian got replaced on, on Fresh Prince. Oh, yeah. That's always weird when they do that, and they're like, it's totally the same character. Well, they actually joked about it on that show, like, Will would joke about, like, you look, you did something to your hair, you look different. Do you think that's- I always wonder about that, do you think that's a good thing, where when they have to replace an actor, do you think it's better for them to try and match the actor as much as possible, or, or do a completely unique thing? I don't know, because that's an example where the, the second of Vivi was way different, like, it, the person looked different. They, they kind of have to be, because if you try to mimic the original, it'll and you just come be, off like an uncanny weirdo. Yeah, it'll, it'll never be as good as the original. Yeah, so you just have to do, like, something new. Yeah. I, I feel like you gotta at least, like, dress the character the same, and do, like, the hair the same. Yeah. Like, so yeah. then it's it's identifiable, like, what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, Yeah, you can't, like, if you can't put those glasses, then they don't have glasses or something. Like, uh, Dumbledore. Like, if you didn't tell me that was a different guy, I probably wouldn't it's have noticed. a different noticed. guy? Yeah. It is, yeah, he, no, he, he died, died after died. the third, or the second movie. He sounded like, Hello, I am Dumbledore. And then he went to, from that to sounding like, Hello, I am Dumbledore. Dumbledore. But who killed him the first time? Uh, he died of, uh, old age. He was, like, 700. In real life, that yeah, he's fucking ancient. <laughs> Do you want to know something funny about that actor? Yeah. Uh, his name is Richard Harris, and uh, that's hilarious. It's pretty funny, but also, have you ever heard of the movie Angela's Ashes? 
Uh, I don't think so. Oh, it's it. about, uh, how shitty Ireland was to live in in, like, the 20s in, like, a, a shitty rain city called Limerick. And then fucking, uh, he put out that book and he got famous for that book because it's so miserable. Like, it's it's pretty much a book about how miserable it is to grow up in, like, the, the wet, like, shithole that it was. And, uh, Richard Harris got really mad at him. He's like, how dare you talk about Ireland like that? <laughs> is he Irish? Yeah, yeah, he was like, how dare you do that? I grew up in Ireland, it was lovely! And then fucking the guy responds like, Oh, how fucking great for you, an actor that grew up in a nice cushy part of Ireland while all my brothers and sisters were dying because it was wet. Fuck yourself. Wait, dying because it was wait, wet? Yeah. died from wetness? Yes! Like, is that a thing? Yeah, it was called the consumption. Is like, like... Literally, like, they got so wet they died? Well, like, it was just, it was so damp that there was constant mold growing everywhere, and back then there was nothing, <laughs> the there was fuck? nothing to get rid of it. It was just crazy. That is hell! You know, watch the movie Angela's Ashes, it's <laughs> fucking insane. That is evil. Please fucking tell me that's what I had to do. <laughs> okay. Yes, you fucking bitch. I like Whoa. Richard Harris, though, I just thought it was a funny story. Oh, what do you mean, look out? Dude, oh watch my out. god. Bedlam. I'll fucking kill you. I don't think so, man. She's... Okay. <laughs> Every time I talk to people of Angela's Ashes, they're always like, Isn't that the very sad movie? And it's like, yeah, it's kind of sad, but also it's one of the funniest movies ever. That, I did, that's so bizarre that people literally died because it was too- it was raining too much. It, it, that's Ireland. It just rains, rains, rains. Like, it, it- one day out of the week, it probably doesn't rain. If that makes me do that again, I'm going to scream. Wow, you are a little weasel. <laughs> Better get out, weasel. <laughs> I love to skin that weasel alive. Oh my god, is... Lyle. Okay, alright, alright, she's... She's already out of her thing. Lyle! 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 Come out to play! Lyle, wake up, Lyle! You're the cobble, Lyle! You're the cobble, wake up! Wake up, up Lyle! <laughs> I wish. Oh, I wish I was in a cool coma and not doing this. Wake up. What is with that Middle Eastern guy that says, Wake up, Biden? What is his story? Wake up, Joe Biden. What is the funniest thing I've ever seen? Wake up. Joe Biden, wake up. <laughs> Joe Biden. Joe Biden, wake up. When I was a kid, I used to think a coma was called, like, a coma. Like, like the full thing was oh, a, a coma. coma. Yeah. Because you, you hear the word coma by itself without the A before it so little. That I just thought that was the actual word, a coma. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like, like you're in stasis, or you're in, you know, like, like you're in a coma. Like it's, like it's a kind of not a place literally, but like grammatically, that's. Well, A is without, right? So the the suffix would mean you're without. So a coma would be consciousness or something. It's yeah, a yeah. Street Fighter character. Like I'm in, I'm in REM sleep. You know, yeah. like that kind of that yeah, kind I, of thing. I know what you mean. I'm in a coma. It's just a mix up the. It's just something that, like, it doesn't come up, you know, like... You have to find- you have to read that to know you're wrong. Like, I'm sure you discovered you were not right about that when you read the phrase A calm, A space calm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. Is it chocolate? Get in the shit, you fucking whore. Oh, he likes it. He's an asshole. Now he's like a chocolate rabbit, okay. Yeah, he's like a shit-covered rabbit. What do you do with this little, uh, turd? I think I gotta use him to lure the fat guy out. <laughs> Is that really what you gotta do? I think so, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Cause he was sitting there and he was going, oh, I'm fat. I'm thinking about chocolate. I love fat. I eat box of donuts. Zach. Yes? Do an impression of... Uh, do an impression of... Uh-huh. Uh, please do your best impression of Eric Cartman and make him say... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Was that good? It's uh, pretty good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I can't do it like that. Yeah. That was a voice that like every girl in your middle school, or sorry, like like the hot Cheeto girl. The hot Cheeto. The, the girl. hot Cheeto what girl. The fuck Dude, what are you, are you talking, talking about? Did you, bro? Did you guys not have a hot Cheeto girl? No, the one that always was fucking about, what the man. Fuck? Eating hot Cheetos said, and drinking what? monster. What? She always did a fucking Eric saying, Cartman man? impression. <laughs> You're actually <laughs> no. This is an archetype of person. An what? archetype. Yes. Okay. And it's real. See, he got so excited that the the fucking chocolate was there that he had to run down. Well, who was the hottest girl in your school? Oh, dude, I don't know, man. They're they're all fucking thirty now. Really? Yeah. 
I don't know if they're still hot. They could be. They could be listening to this too. They might, but no. The the they 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 got pregnant. They all got pregnant. Now they're none of them are by hot. you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We don't talk about none of that. Lyle's like the milkman. Like in uh, two hundred years, <laughs> I was going. Wait, I, I, I am son of Lyle. No, I am son of yeah, Lyle. Yeah, I'm like I'm like Genghis Khan. I have daughter of Lyle. I have brother to, of Lyle. Uh, yeah. yeah, trace really back like a sizable portion of the population. Yeah. What a fiend! Run as what fast. What a sex fiend! What a cum fiend! Run as fast as you can. Excellent teamwork. Fuck now yes. That's fucking teamwork. Lyle, well, what's your favorite position? Uh, that's cool with me. Yeah, it's not my favorite, but I do it for you. What's your favorite dish? I'm not gonna cook it, but I'll order it from Postmates. <laughs> I wish they would uh, upgrade the Tenacious yeah. D lyrics to fix modern it, times. Fix it. I, don't know I that actually means. forget what the. Uh, I'm not gonna cook it, but I'll order it from Zanzibar. It's a good song. What was that the night mid nineties? I think their, so. Their TV show was really good too. Yeah, for it was before the remember. movie. I think their TV show was, was good. From what I remember, I mean, it was really? kind of low budget. Really? It was only like 10 episodes or something, 8 episodes. It's really weird to think they had a TV show. No, nobody watched it. My cousin showed it to me. How come? My older cousin showed it to me. It seemed like Tenacious D was really popular. Like, like everyone knew about Fucker Gently and Tribute. And how come no one saw the movie? Because it was only really popular with like young boys. Like people oh. literally our age when we were growing up. That's so weird. Like, and I'm sure, I'm sure 20 something year old guys, but it wasn't like a family movie. It was never like. It was always fairly niche, I think. Mm, I, I love me. that movie. Do you remember when people would just like. They would take parts of like movies and stuff and like put them on, on MySpace music and shit, and people would put them on their, their like iPods and just fucking listen to yeah, them? I used to do that. Like parts of like the South Park movie. I like, used to do that. <laughs> Mr. Garrison! Like, I remember seeing that as, like, audio, yeah, like, way before the fucking the South Park movie. movie. Yeah, specifically that was, like, reanimated, re and, like, there was just clips of it. Yeah, I remember there was, like, uh, Napster ads in, on TV, at, like, late at night in Ireland that would just be, like, like, send this message to this number and you'll get Eric Cartman. Yeah, take my bow! And just people would just <laughs> down, like, they would spend, like, three pounds to get that. At, like, 2 a.m.? I mean, no, you could do whatever you want, but those ads would always play at that time. Yeah, you used to, you used to have to pay a subscription fee for phone backgrounds. It's fucking crazy. And people would, uh... They would go on the naughty no-no websites. No, they wouldn't. Nobody has ever... Nobody went on those websites. I was told that they were just funny. I remember people watching porn on their 30... 3510 eyes, the Nokia's. Remember those? It was like the first color phone, and it had a really basic camera. Yeah, like 12 by 12, uh, 12 by 12 pixel GIF of people fucking. Yeah, and there was a really fun game where you could skydive. I used to love that. I was jealous of the people who had that. Was it a porn game? No, it was, you skydive it was a you, fucking you, parachute game, dude. Well, you, the, the target when you skydive is the woman's vagina at the bottom. It's a spread open. You have to land on that. She queefs right before you hit it, so it fluffs up your parachute. It blows you all the way back up to the top <laughs> yeah. of the airplane. Lyle was telling me about the genre of porn that he watches, where the women, <laughs> he, they use their uh, their pussy pumps, and he calls he calls their lips plums. <laughs> what, ha what happens to the plums? He, well, I don't know. He was just like, I like it when they fist their plums. And you, you, but you had to ask him what the plot was? Well, I just, I just didn't want to talk about it. It was just weird. I see. You just wanted to talk about, like... I just wanted to talk about, like, rare gems and, like... Sure, like, like jewels and... Like, and... like, strange new flora in my area. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've been studying flora lately. The there's, flora and fauna? There's, there's, <laughs> there's lots of, there's lots of strange flora in our neighborhood. Have you seen the fauna? You mean like the the animals? The yeah, sure, the fauna. Have you studied those yet, or, have, or are you focused on the flora until you Who get a handle on it? Who the fuck decided to say fauna instead of animal? Like, and what kind of a flora, fucking weirdo did that? I hope they're dead now. It was somebody could say the phrase flora and say fauna. Say animals and plants. Yeah, nope. but nobody says flora either. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, somebody literally invented both so they could say the phrase flora and fauna. You know, it was definitely some weird fucking some creepy beard fiddling fucking weirdo. Big long skeleton fingers. Yep. He was like the guy from Ratatouille. Except for he was fused with the rat. He was part of <laughs> <laughs> Fused with the rat. He was spliced with he was Ratatouille. Spliced with rat DNA. Ratatouille. Ratatouille DNA. There's a scene in Ratatouille that makes me sick when the rat is pulling on the guy's hair and he's making food. What about that? That's the whole. It's just yeah. like a rat in his like hair. Does doesn't it resolve with him like fighting at the rat though and killing it? Yeah, the rat a like bit. leaves droppings around the kitchen and the entire restaurant if gets I shut a, down. Imagine if you had a rat pulling in your hair, but it like felt really fucking good. <laughs> 
like I you felt, love the sound like of that. You, like you fell in love with it. <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't want it. I, I wouldn't want it to like control the way I moved, though. Could that mouse jerk him off with his own hand? Yeah, it could. It probably could. Could it jerk the mouse off though? Could he? Could it make him jerk the mouse off? Could he? Could the mouse make the man jerk him off? Maybe. Yeah. That poor rabbit is the most unlikable fucking character I've ever seen. So we're having a very crude conversation about a children children's movie <laughs> called Ratatouille. The rat could make him kill. Why has there been no Pixar movie about an ape yet? There hasn't been? No. That feels intuitively wrong, All but right, you're- Alright, Lyle will be Mr. Uh, Mr. Disney, Mr. Pixar, and you can be the picture, Chris. Okay. Hello there, young man. Hello, Mr. Disney. Have it- well, have- have a seat. Okay. Okay, pull the chair did, over. Did you do that, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, that was up to standard, at least for the chair pulling. Uh, I'm Dr. Pixar, by the way. Hello. Yeah, so... You- you have a pitch for us, apparently. Let's- let's hear it. Okay, uh... So, I've noticed a severe lack... Of animated ape movies. Right. Well, we market tested that, and right. apes don't do well. Right. Well, they don't do well. People get scared. Well. People get scared of monkeys. You think you can come in here and pitch? They us think an the ape monkeys movie, are going to come out and. Uh, well, I don't think it was the apes that didn't do well. I think it was your audience didn't resonate with the messages the apes were conveying. And what kind of uh, messages do you think an ape would convey that would compel an audience? And what demographic do you think it well, would? Well, like pulling apart its asshole and shitting on the camera. <laughs> Right. I can and see that doing well with uh, Gen Z, <laughs> maybe, maybe some of the uh, the older generations. Now, you, now, now we, I'm curious. We've got, so a, we've got a, a gap with millennials. The on idea that one. here is it's going to prolapse, right? Because a big uh, red prolapse. Well, they're already right? kind of prolapsed, but yeah. Right. But a further prolapses. Yeah, further prolapses. The camera zooms in on the very tip of the prolapse. Now, does he do? Does he do any singing? You know, we're we're Disney and Pixar for Pete's sake. Does yeah, he, he uses his hands as, on his chest as percussive instruments. So it's like. And what, what's the first song about? Um, pretty much just running around in leaves. With your prolapse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, running around in the leaves with your prolapse? This could, this could be our next, this could be our next, uh, our next... Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. Uh, Let's keep your next big hit. Yeah, no, I was thinking about uh, probably uh, going with like Time Warner if you guys didn't want it. Well, uh, let's not get hasty. So, mm. after we have the props, we have the musical number. Who's the villain? Who are we rooting against? Pretty much just white people. Okay, mm, that does well. Yeah. And uh, well, why why is this chip against white people? Why are they the enemy? Well, the white people are against everybody. So. Do you think we could include maybe one white person that is pro-prolapse? <laughs> Just uh, one. So like PP. Yes. M. Yes. A, a, a PPM. A PPMW. <laughs> yeah. A pro-prolapse male white. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. No. I, I would be. I would be fine with uh, changing up the script a bit. And if we brought a monkey in this room right now, how would you react? Well, it depends. I mean, like, where now, has if we, he been? If we, well, if we, well, if the chip. Let's just say the chip is a little bit hungry, a little bit. Uh, Mm. You look excited. Okay. We're gonna bring it in here. Like, are you- okay. Are you comfortable handling a chimp with an any anus, though? Because we don't have a prolapsed one on the premise. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I think okay. I can deal with this, yeah. Alright, bring him in. Okay. Now, here's the real kicker, you can't fuck the monkey, you can't- I know, I know you look at it, you wanna fuck it, you can't fuck it. Wait, wait, wait. You're a Hollywood company. Yep. And you don't want to fuck the monkey. Not during work hours, no. Uh, Off the clock, you can do whatever you want with the monkey, but while you're in this room, no hands, <laughs> no hands on the monkey. I need to talk to my contract Cuts lawyer. Cuts to Chris passionately <laughs> fucking the monkey in the ass, moaning like he's never moaned before. <laughs> eyes, eyes rolling in the back of his head, mouth open like my he's dead. My eyes are rolling so hard that like blood is coming out of the veins. The chip, the chip is it's doing that. It's, you knocked it unconscious with a billy club. <laughs> 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 uh, You're not dreaming, monkey. This is this is all real, monkey. You're not dreaming. Uh, Disney le man leans in. Hey, wake up. Uh, the uh, meeting's not over yet. Hey, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I just, I just had sleep. the craziest dream. <laughs> no, no, I was daydreaming. He's dreaming about fucking the monkey passionately. <laughs> <laughs> During his Disney slash Pixar fit. Anyways, what were you saying? Uh, you yeah, know, I can handle any monkey, so... Chris passes out again, cuts to fucking the Disney CEO. 
<laughs> hey, I said wake up. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. My bad. Uh, you know, yeah. Well, whatever you want. I, I just really just want to sell a script, to be honest. I'll, right, do, well, I'll do whatever you guys want. Well, okay. Well, I think I think we could give you a spec script. We could do a... Uh, well, you could do a 10-minute uh, outline, and uh, we could buy that from you. Okay. How much? Uh, you... Uh, 10000 You give us 10000 For word? You give us ten thousand dollars. I give you th for the monkey. Yeah, you pay us for the monkey prolapse script. Yeah, and then we own it. Mm. And if you decide to and walk away from the project, we can make it without you. And to keep me motivated, you have to send me a new prolapse picture every week. <laughs> yeah, to, to my make sure, Yeah, but you're telling me I get to take home the monkey. No, the monkey's not. No, the, the monkey monkey's stays. Uh, we saw you drift off for a moment, and uh, we, don't, we, 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 we know you. that we've seen that look before. I know with what young that means, dude. With... I know what that means, dude. You okay. can't pull the wool I know over what that our means. Eyes. I know what that look means, dude. Wipe that smoke off your. I know what that look means. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm down to not get paid, and as long as I get to sell it. We know it. what you were dreaming about, so you no, we're not. So we're not going to pay you, no. <laughs> okay, I don't want. Okay, I'll, I'll, still, right? I'll still make it with you guys, though. Ideal. You got it yourself a deal. I'm just son. more of an art guy. I'm more about the project. We'll put her there. We'll put her there, son. There you go. That's a strong <laughs> handshake. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Most pointless, <laughs> longest <laughs> hypothetical ever done. How much have you cost this poor company, Lyle? Uh, probably a good amount. I don't know how much they started with. I didn't realize it was ticking down like that until a little bit in. Button. That's like a grr moment. Yeah, that Shady is. Red button. What the fuck? I wish that red thing was. Oh, I think this is a flashback, and it's showing it's us like, a weird 3D comic strip. It's like the concept art. You press a button, get a cookie. That was very badly Yo, what conveyed. The what fuck? the fuck? It wasn't even centered properly. What, what the fuck? Lyle, why the fuck did you want to play this? I don't know. Dude? I thought it'd be bad. Lyle goes Gaga. <laughs> Well, you went pretty gaga that one time I, in the Springfield. Yeah, I did go quite gaga, and then I was like, mm, I, I like when I met Green Day. Whoa, whoa look at that! Well, There's a big gorilla! Yeah, we gotta let him out. Well, the Simpsons critics came up to you, all the Simpsons people from Fox called you in, and they said, Lyle, we, uh, we found your channel, we found what you make, we like what you do. We want to make you date Lisa Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> but you are your age right now. <laughs> Fucking no, but what? You, no, 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 but you get to be in The Simpsons, you get to meet Homer, and like... <laughs> but like, but my character would be a fucking nonce. <laughs> a nonce. I'm not gonna do no, that. No, 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 but you get Especially to Especially if it's like me with my name. But it's you and you... <laughs> they're not gonna age me down or nothing? And you draw like a new... No, you're, you're yourself now with like stubble, and they draw you in like the modern Simpsons guest style. But, but it's that you're dating Lisa. Dude, I want to play as him. Dude, yeah, he rocks. Look at him go. <laughs> More. Is this supposed to be happening? <laughs> no, it's, it's absolutely supposed to be happening. Yeah, fuck him up. You gotta give it to this game, it has its moments. <laughs> I should be, uh, I should voice in more video games, honestly. You could do, you could do, well, you do a good, um... You do a good ghost noise, right? Yeah. See? No, no, okay, um, here's my serious ghost noise. How's that? If what I heard the... that in my fucking house, I'd pee. <laughs> yeah. It would freak you out, honestly. It if, would. If you heard, like, that right you behind you... just about anything. You ever, you ever want to like really see how scared a person can get? Just break into their house and make a noise behind them. <laughs> I really do hate this rabbit. I don't know what it is. I think it's his eyes, actually. I think you're kind of supposed to hate him. I know, but it's like... It's hate looking at him. And I, I hate that he doesn't have any expressions. And I hate his voice. Yeah, I, I think they wanted to make him, like, kind of annoying so that you didn't feel bad about, like, throwing him around. No, you, they should make it so you feel bad. I'd rather they have it, like, be, like, an innocent victim character. Yeah, that'd be funnier, honestly. <laughs> it's what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was just gonna, like, scream the whole time. Does this give you, like, a dedicated fan base that wants to see it? I, I really don't think so. No. Nah. But I could be wrong. There could be someone in the comments that's like, I love this game as like, a Like, they kid. really want a new game of this. I, but I, I, I assume that anybody who liked this game probably in hindsight was like, yeah, I just played anything, you know? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, when you're a kid, the games you actually love, like The Legend of Zelda or some game compared to all the crap games you play is like 1 to 
20 or something. You do kind of like subconsciously pick up on quality even as a kid, right? Yeah, you know like, as a kid, absolutely. Like, I, I watched a ton of Batman the Animated Series, mm. and like, if you asked me as a kid, like, do you like that show? I'd be like, no. But like, it was on, and I would watch it, and I wouldn't turn it off, and I watched like a ton of it. Are you talking about the one that came out in the nineties? The really yeah, gra- the you didn't like that? I thought it, it was pretty it is, good. I thought it was like boring as a kid, but it, like oh. it, I still watched it. Like I, I liked it enough to watch it. You know, yeah. like I don't know. There was just something about it that like it didn't register in my brain like this is your thing, but it registered in my brain like this is good. You know? Yeah, yeah. No, there were things as a kid that I that I that I also knew were bad. I was like, this is bad. I know it. Yeah, I mean that that sets in later. I feel like a lot more. Where it's just like... I'm saying it's bad, but you watch it. You're like, you know, it's not as good as the other stuff, but you still watch it. Yeah, yeah. It's like the stuff that, like, sticks with you versus what doesn't. Like, as a kid, I knew Spongebob was good. I was like, that is a good show. It's funny. Yeah, it's still, like, old Spongebob especially is still funny. Absolutely. I haven't seen much of, like, the new stuff, but... Ah! Squidward walks in. What the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Why did you say that? Because Spongebob's just going... <laughs> Wait, where is he located? What's he doing? He's looking at the Patrick Star show on TV. He's yeah, doing, he's, he's really he's happy what? about he's it. And Squidward says what? What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? What is going on? You think this is funny? That monkey's flying, man. Ooh, where is he? He's up there. Unless he... Where is he? There he is. <laughs> I like this game. This is a good game. This game is really good. Wait, wait, that sucks. It sucks. Yeah, it starts sucking as when quickly as it gets good. As soon as you look away from the monkey, pretty much. It stops getting good, yeah. Can you look back at the monkey? Uh, there's one right there. Well, now it's good again. This is pretty good. This oh. camera is not great, though. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta turn off that fucking sound. You know what? Discord, this is not my fucking fault. Discord, have a fucking option built into the app that turns off sounds across all your fucking devices. I get so fucking mad when I go to bed and I forgot to turn down my speaker and I... Bleep, bleep, oh, no. Shut the fuck up! Ah, put that fucking option in. It drives me crazy. I just stay on Do Not Disturb all the time. I'm on... Mine's on... Yeah, I'm <laughs> on right now. Oh, fuck! <laughs> uh, hey guys, welcome back to Whiplash. Well, can we turn this off? <laughs> this sucks. Yeah, we can. I, I've smashed like, like five out of eight of these uh-huh. fucking things. So give me, give me a second. Let's let's give it. Oh my god! I can't wait. I I'm can't s- do this anymore. I'm stupid. That's what this is for. Lyle, I can't watch you do this to yourself, dude. Lyle, this is just humiliating. <laughs> <laughs> Ting. Lyle, what are you doing? Uh, I'm fucking shooting Lyle? chickens, I think. Isn't that funny? Lyle, you are actually pretty good at that. You know, this game, this game simultaneously, like, it condemns animal abuse, but that's like the primary form of comedy that it's trying to, like, hit us with. Is it's like funny animal get hurt, but they're, then it's like, isn't it bad that animals get hurt? Do you think they're gonna rip his face off and stuff? They're gonna do they're something. Gonna go fingers, oh my god! His eyes, his they nose, they, his they are going for it. This game's fucking crazy. Eyes, nose, crotch, fingers. <laughs> they anything really do go for anything. Yeah. Anything that you could possibly want, they'll go for it. Yeah, anything grabbable. Like it is. It's purely just fucking evil to go for your cock, right? Yeah, they know it. Yeah, they they don't cross that line. No, they do. They do. It's, it's one of the first things they do. Yeah, like they they bite off your nuts and your dick they and your fingers and your nose and your ears and your eyes and your lips and your eyes. Like, they really just do it because they're fuckers. They know what they're doing. Yeah. And they they, they finally like, disavow you. They, like, there's actually no fucking need for them to bite your cock and balls off. Well, it's so that you can't fuck and make another one of you, and then that one will beat them. Exactly. Up. They're just evil, man. That's why I prefer the company of orangutans. Have you seen that video of the orangutan that, like, fucking, he's, like, sawing? Yeah. They I, give I, it a saw, saw. I, saw, I saw the orangutan who sawed. And then they, they saw. like, they have a guy next to him that also saws. And then the orangutan... So the human learned from the orangutan how yeah, to saw. Yeah, and then the orangutan saw the human doing it and gets pissed and starts sawing faster. <laughs> saw that guy's head And then he, he saws, saws through, through, yeah, he head. saws through the guy, yeah. His dome head. Okay. Imagine orangutan taking you by the hair and gripping as hard as it can, not letting go of the... Saw your head off. <laughs> I don't think an orangutan would like that. 
Oh yeah, hit the button, you big... I feel like an orangutan... Why? Jump on it. Why is that? There we go. Jesus. An orangutan would feel like it had to do that, though. For its own safety. Just for self-defense. I, I heard that the, uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre guy, like the guy it's based off, I Ed heard Gein. he was actually doing it all in self-defense. Ed uh, Gein? Yeah, Ed Cutting Gein, up his mom and making her into a lamp? Yeah. Yeah, it was self-defense. <laughs> uh, well, how far into this game are we? I don't know, I didn't beat it as a kid, so... I think we're- I like, think we're definitely farther than I ever got, though. We're about 1% through. Also, I really hope this is where I, I- I don't remember doing this, so I assume that this is the right way. Oh my god, okay. Well, cool. at least that thing caught you. What is that? Just- it's Dude, shiny. that's a trinket. Get the trinket. Life up! <laughs> okay, Lyle, if you don't make this jump, I'm kissing you on your brown face. Made it. Okay. Lyle, what's better? Weasel or rabbit? Uh, from like an objective standpoint? Yeah. I mean, weasels can fuck more shit up. They're actually like banned here, I think. Really? Yeah, if a like weasel- ferrets? If one weasel or ferret gets into California, we're fucked. Oh yeah, I've got a friend in New York who has, uh, I think their ferrets are illegal. But they keep they're, them anyway. They're illegal in, in a lot of places, because there's certain- there's certain areas where they don't have natural predators, and they oh. eat, like, a lot of shit that's important. Shout it's out like to my a, friends in New York. It's like axolotls. They're like a pet in other places, but here you can't get them. Because, uh... Yeah, they, uh... They'll, like... If they get into the fucking water supply... Like, we're fucked. We're just fucked, man. I know. So don't put them in there. Oh, fuck! Maybe we're we playing should cut this at that fucking out. 5 in the morning. Yeah, what? It's 5 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, we should've gone yeah. to bed, dude. No. No, we get to watch the sunrise to this wonderful game. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Man, I, I've had this fucking thing where it does not matter, like, how much or how little sleep I get. Mm. I just... I always just fucking am tired during the day and awake at night. That used to happen to me a lot. It blows. It really has nothing to do with schedule at this point. It's just, if the sun's down, you're awake, and if it's not, you're tired. I think you can fix that if you just keep forcing yourself to wake up at like six and then staying up like or not six yeah, fucking like eight. Yeah, you just have to wake up at the same time, go to bed at the same time every day. And also stop drinking soda and also stop uh stop uh, yeah, uh, sitting around at your one. desk all the time. Caffeine you is weirdo. the caffeine is the big one. Yeah, Lyle. I do drink caffeine. I don't drink soda though. You're right. No, I've 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 had like like an opposite experience with caffeine where I started drinking coffee like last year because i used to just though, right? do those fucking like five hour energy shots <laughs> those are so bad i know and it's really frustrating though when uh when you like you know what everyone's always like if you work out you feel more energized but like that's never worked for me once in my life what kind of exercise were you doing all sorts even recently i'm in, like i'm in probably the best shape i've been in a, in a long time and i still any anytime i exercise i want to go pass out oh i feel tired well, days when you exercise yeah, yeah but if you if you, like, don't exercise, and then you just have a normal day. Mm. You got mm. tons of energy. I suppose. Not really, But though. then you're not exercising, and then you lose the energy. <laughs> yes! So, uh, Everything we do sucks and is bad for us. <clears throat> yep. Everything has a downside. Can we please turn off this awful fucking game? As soon as we see what this does, I hope it does Where's something good. Where's the save? Good. Can't you save? You really wanted to turn it off before that? Okay, I like it again. <laughs> More! Zach, what yeah. would be the worst cartoon crossover of all time? Um... South Park meets... Uh... As told by Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awful. That'd be fucking terrible. And it would, ha it Ginger. would happen in the Gingerverse, too. So it's it's as told by Ginger's writers. You know what probably could have happened? Trying to write happened? a G-rated South Park. You know what, what could have happened, but they didn't, thankfully, is as told by Ginger meets the Rugrats. I'm surprised they didn't. Can you that. imagine? She would be babysitting them or something. Yeah. Well, they did, you know, they did well at Thornberry's meet. That one sucked ass. It doesn't work at all. You're watching. Like, this is unnatural. This is evil. Can wait? Can she talk to babies? Like yeah. she can talk to animals? Yeah. Could she? Was that the? Was that I thought the? So. The pitch was like, oh, much like animals, she can also talk I to babies. I don't think so. I remember watching. I don't remember that. Oh, so they couldn't understand her? They, no, they can understand her. Would she, she could talk understand. to Spike the dog? Is what I remember. Oh, he's Bruce Willis. <clears throat> yeah, that was weird. 
Trying to think of other horrible crossovers they could do. Rograts meets... Breaking uh, Bad. <laughs> that's not a cartoon. That'd be good, actually. I'd watch that. Rugrats meets, uh... Chucky! We have to cook! <laughs> Rugrats meets Savior Like an Angel, there you go. That would be funny that as hell. That would fucking rock. Yeah. Rugrats meets Hey Arnold would be awesome. You said the worst crossover, though. I guess that would be a good one I just named. Did they not do a Rugrats meets Hey Arnold? Uh -huh. I, I feel like they did that, but maybe I'm wrong. This, you know what? The Simpsons meets Rugrats would be fucking bizarre and creepy. There'd be no point to it. <laughs> yeah, it'd just be so stupid. They would make Lisa date Tommy. Scooby Doo well, meets. Well, I have Lyle's dating Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Lisa. Scooby Doo meets who? Scooby Doo meets uh, Martin Shkreli. What the fuck is that? You know the Pharma Martin Bro Shkreli? guy that owns the Wu Tang Clan album. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, you remember him? <laughs> no. Scooby Doo meets Martin Shkreli. He's the guy that like jacked up the the like child's leukemia <laughs> medicine prices and then like bought a Wu Tang Clan <laughs> album. I'm trying to think of the all time worst crossover ever. Ah, Real Monsters crosses over with... The Simpsons. That would be so bad. That could be good, actually, if, it's, if it was like a Treehouse of Horror. That would make sense. If it was just a regular episode. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's... they. The Simpsons would just do, like, a parody of that now. Because mm. they, they started making those Treehouse of Horrors, like, not even... They're just like a not parody, even horror movies. Like they do parodies of, of like... Yeah, or like Superman or something. It'd be, like, weird. Yeah, I don't like that. I wanted to watch Our Real Monsters as a kid, but every time I got home from school, it was just ending. So I missed out on it entirely. You just thought it was like the most amazing show in the world. It just looked cool. I like the black and white monster and the little purple guy. Oh, the guy who holds his eyeballs? No, that was he was disgusting. I didn't want to watch him at all. Where's that? Dude, I don't know. There the it goes. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. Oh, he's got oh, a little... it's a parachute. No, oh, good boy. I really thought there was gonna be like a second sure part to that joke, like something else comes out and eats it or something. The combat in this game is truly abysmal. Uh... Yeah, no, you just fucking mash. Like you have and, and a heavy attack for most but... of it. Yeah, it's so stupid. Yeah, no. Do you, do you have a block button yourself? I don't think so. No. So it's just you hitting that until the the block goes down. Basically, yeah. Yeah, it's not- it's not particularly deep. I can do that, though. That's another move I have. Absolutely astounding. Every moment with this game is a joy. <laughs> do you think that that's what the- the fucking director of this game said as soon as they played it for the first time? You think a single know. tear rolled down their cheek? I know, I think you'd know. I, I was looking at a behind-the-scenes thing of, uh, Ghostbusters, and they were saying when they shot that shot of them running down New York City, he was like, I knew it was gonna be a hit right then. Aww. But if you're making this, you have to have the exact opposite feeling. Yeah, like, oh no, oh yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. no. Oh god, we made, we made this game. I don't know though, cause games like... But this isn't like the worst game ever though, it's- But you would realize it's not a hit. I think. I, I, probably. This game didn't retail at full price, I know that. I mean, there's nothing innovative about it, like, at the end of the day you could have Interesting characters and interesting whatever marketing, but if it's not fun to play it... Which just doesn't seem very fun. I'm just gonna follow this tube, because it's glowing and that seems like... Like the logical progression. Is he farting? He's doing something. I think he is farting. <laughs> See, what is that, a varmint? Yeah, this is just a normal office guy. You're a varmint? <laughs> Probably. Is there like a like an actual like classification for varmint? I thought it was like a slang term. Yeah, I thought it was like uh, that guy from the Looney Tunes that shoots the guns up and down. Yeah, anti Yosemite oh, uh, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What does Yosemite mean? It's a uh, it's a place in heaven, Chris. Oh, is it? What is it? Just that park? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, huh. Andy, a park ranger. He's set, he's pissed off at the animals for ruining his fun. <laughs> Yo, somebody, Sam, I think he's a cowboy or something. Huh? He's a cowboy. You're some kind of cowboy. You're a cowboy? You think you're a cowboy, huh? What's it with the new Looney Tune right now? A new character? Yeah, new Looney Tune. Okay. Like, that joins the classic bunch. Okay, he's what? a Komodo dragon. What's his name? Uh... Um... So, okay, there's Daffy Spike. Bugs. Spike the dragon? <laughs> okay, yeah. That's a fucking... Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, um... 
Fuck um, no, he's not a Komodo dragon. That's too much, dude. Too far. No, no, guy like Komodo dragon. Uh, uh jo George. George. Well, I'm trying to think of all the others. Bugs, Daffy. Like these are weird names. Yeah, they they gotta be like something like some like shitty woods animal too. Seth. They're never like an animal. Like it's never like a monkey or something. Seth the Komodo, Seth the Komodo dragon. dragon. He's never a monkey or a lion. It's okay, always what's his character. He's got uh. Who has he dressed? Um, none of the other Looney Tunes are dressed. Does he, does he have gloves? No, he doesn't have- he's just a dragon. It, it, he's like standing on his back legs though, right? Yeah. He's standing- he's standing up in, in a so white room. So he doesn't room. have bugs like- like- sorry, he doesn't have gloves like Bugs and Daffy. Daffy doesn't have gloves. Oh, you're right, I guess only Bugs does. Yeah, because he's a stupid fucking rabbit. What's the logic there? So would, would a Komodo dragon- wouldn't the Komodo- I guess the Komodo dragon well, would have what, gloves. What would his bit be? Like, I guess that's important. It's like, let's give him out. socks. That's pretty funny. He's yeah, got, so okay, he wears socks. socks. <laughs> he's <Yeah>. got socks. <laughs> he wears fucking socks up to his knees. And he's got a loot crate shirt. Alright. <laughs> this doesn't sound yeah, loony at all. Yeah, his bit is no, 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 that he's no, no, hungry no, no. for it's, merch. It's a little bit yeah. modern. It's a little bit modern, oh, okay? brother. It's a little bit modern. Okay. And he also has, uh, a vape. He's got a vape. Yeah, that- he's got- that's his, like, Elmer Fudd is, like, a vape store owner. Yeah, and oh, he keep, he's the guy who he the keep, Trump guy comes yeah, into. Yeah, he yeah, keeps, uh, the, yeah, yeah, He keeps, uh, stealing his vape fluid. <laughs> that, that's- that's the joke, is he's- he's always trying to steal vape fluid. Well, I can get to that All he vape. does is he goes, talks to the other Looney Tunes about vaping. He's- yeah. he's the fucking gross guy. Do you remember that video where he's yeah, like, yeah, of course. GET OUT! Yeah. Ah! The, guy, the guy goes, I just want my- my strawberry juice, uh, Size, medium. You're the guy who keeps yes. trying to like, make his orders. Because Looney Tunes are generally based on a real personality, so it should be based on that guy. But we his, need to counter make... his counterpart could be Trumpet Guy. Yeah! And he's the guy who comes in asking for strawberry vape. Yeah, yeah, but what's that guy, Trumpet Guy? What kind of animal is he? Uh... He's a pheasant. A pheasant? Like a bird? <laughs> yeah, he's a pheasant. Or a peacock. <laughs> Daffy's a bird. Uh, but he's just a boring he's old like duck. He's like a duck, yeah, he's a duck. Everyone's sick of the damn duck, dude. How about, uh... Is there any Looney Tune, uh, rat? Termite. There's a termite, a giant termite walking around. <laughs> Speeding Gonzales is kind of a rat. He's a mouse. He's a mouse. Let's Wait, have there's... a big filthy rat character. Yeah, giant, like, five foot seven rat. Yeah, and Griso. We gotta give him a name. <laughs> Griso? Or Plagueis. Uh, Plagueis, Plagueis is pretty good. <laughs> Darth Plagueis the rat. Darth Plagueis, yeah. <laughs> no, because he coughs plague everywhere. Mouth, mouth Plagueis. How, mouth about, pl how about Coffee? Coffee? Coffee the rat? Yeah. That'd be good. What if he's like coffee quote mouse Plagueis? Coffee Plagueis? Because <laughs> it's like Roadrunner where he runs in. He's got in like a stops. hyphenated yeah. last name. Yeah. <laughs> can somebody please draw a fan art of these characters and tweet them at Disney until we get blacklisted? Yeah. So there's coffee Darth Plagueis rat. There's uh, there's George the dragon. No, no, Seth the Seth the dragon, the Komodo dragon. Who, who all he does is vape. He owns a vape store. Yeah. And he's addicted to pills. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got OCD and schizophrenia. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I like that. He's got OCD, schizophrenia. Uh, well, mild schizophrenia. Yeah. All not 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 Medicaid for any of that, but he like he does take like <laughs> you know like uh, psychoactive substances. And it's manageable. He's manageable overall. Yeah, he takes enough lithium to where it's like okay. <laughs> we we need a Looney Tune who's addicted to fentanyl. Yeah. Well, it's this guy. Fentanyl frog. No, this is the third guy. Fentanyl frog dies, and that actually inspires. <laughs> Fentanyl toad. <laughs> that inspires. That's like what kicks off the story between. Opioid toad. Op opioid toad. <laughs> His story like kicks off the Komodo dragon uh, and the uh, the the mouse. Uh, Can somebody draw this, please? Can someone draw this, send it to me, and then I'll pitch it and see what happens. And I'll say, I yeah, we'll see, we'll draw it. Thank you. Well, what's the first sketch about? Fentanyl Frog is like, oh, I need fentanyl. He's like, all we got is vapes. No, Fentanyl Frog doesn't want fentanyl. Oh, he's he like to hurts it. his leg, <laughs> so and he doesn't want to go to the hospital. I've, I've already. Wait, what does Coffee the Plague Rat do again? <laughs> he's based on uh, Trumpet Guy. He's based on Nick Avocado. Yeah, <laughs> Coffee the Frog. He just fucking cries and, they and find, screams. They find. They go in and they find. Fentanyl frog dead like Chris Farley on the ground. <laughs> and they literally let it the most horrible exp gasp. I don't like you your ever heard. I don't like your parallel world, Zach. Why? Why not? It's a classic Looney Tunes bit. They no, would probably have done that. That was then. a classic Looney Tunes bit yeah. right there. 
hangs in the air for just a sec, looks into the camera. Am I about to fall? He's literally chained to the other fucking guy. That level Who took fell? like fucking ten years. Yeah, but Complete look at- We're only a fifth through. You're fucking with me, Lyle. You're Is fucking that what with that me. actually said? Please save. It said 19%. I'm rounding up. Lyle, would you save for fuck's sake? <laughs> you, you really want to play yeah. this again? Yeah, save. Okay. We can fucking quit. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I can't